instruction is incredibly important if you're going to best benefit your learners. So within our virtual environment, rubrics are provided as well as detailed instruction with each assessment or portfolio. Teachers are also able to make a modification on the assignment and add additional instruction, especially quite frequently for my students, just to give a better understanding of what exactly they're supposed to do within that assessment or within that portfolio, which is like our essays or our larger assignments. Um, for example, there might be an essay coming up about the Great Chicago Fire from Jim Murphy. And so I might say, make sure you go back to lesson 1.2 and read about the Great Fire just in case you missed it. So I just want to make sure that the students know all of the steps and they also know my expectations before they begin the portfolio or the assessment. We also review criteria in our weekly live lessons and students have access to resources to help them prepare on the class landing page. And the class landing page is a resource within our platform where students can find information on the objectives, standards, uh, resources to better understand the content, whether that's math, social studies, science, English, uh, for English in particular, it might be grammar or parts of speech, how to do close reading, different resources that they can use to better their learning and just find a little bit more background knowledge in case they're lacking in that area. They can also find contact information for direct instruction from the teacher. So that landing page is really pivotal for our students to be able to prepare and get ready for an assessment. In the virtual environment, we use several different methods of monitoring student learning. We not only use assessments that are already built into our curriculum, but we also use content-based assessments and individual discussions with students in live lesson or over the phone, which is my preferred method is over the telephone because I really love having that personal one-on-one -on -one conversation and connection with my students. On an average day, I spend about 30 minutes to an hour um, with individual students and I have between eight to 10 students booking me every day to go over the content, to reflect on their learning, to you know, look at different strategies. How can we make this better? When giving feedback directly on an assessment, I try to leave constructive feedback that is both encouraging and helpful. I never want to leave negative feedback, kind of put it in that, you know, that sandwich of you have a positive and a negative and a positive, because you really want to build your students up so that they want to continue to do their best, so they continue to be motivated. Um, feedback typically consists of guiding questions to help the learner try to think out of the box to really analyze that question and use reason to come to a conclusion. This is also an excellent time to work through strategies like using the process of elimination, determining the main idea of a question. What is the question really looking for? I also continue to encourage students to always self-assess their work. Why do you think your grade isn't up to your best? Are you rushing? Was the question too difficult to understand? If so, what can we do together so that next time you are successful? Learners are continually encouraged to monitor the gradebook, to attend live lessons where we give direct instruction over the content, and especially to book an appointment with a teacher for assistance. Looking for constructive feedback on an assessment in the gradebook is also essential for the student learning. I will say that in the virtual environment, what I really love is that we are true partners with the parents and we are able to contact them throughout the day as well as speaking to the students to review the strategies that might help students be more successful on an assessment or an assignment. And I really think that that is an amazing part of being in the virtual environment that I was not able to have when I worked at brick and mortar. So it's really about developing that relationship, helping students with those assessments, giving feedback, and really encouraging self-reflection for self-improvement. Mm -hmm.